Hey, yo, welcome back. This is not a podcast. It's just my thoughts with Rob Markman. I keep running with that because really what it is, I, I don't have a name yet. I haven't figured out Brandon. Y'all going to see this thing evolve eventually, man. But I mean, you know, we're a bunch of episodes in. So I appreciate all y'all that's riding out with me. Um, J. Cole. Y'all see it. Y'all see it in the thumbnail. Y'all see it in the headline. J. Cole, two features in one week. Who said what about J. Cole, man? There's been a lot of talk about J. Cole. Um, after featuring on a plate full of collard greens with daylight, where he went absolutely crazy earlier this week. I broke down some of those bars on the earlier video. Check it out if you hadn't watched it. J. Cole is now featured on T Grizzly's Blow for Blow today, and they did a video for it. Joined is produced by Pierre Bourne. I like this joint a lot. I like the beat a lot. I I I, I really think Pierre is dope as a producer. I, I fuck with Pierre all around, man. So shout out to Pierre Bourne. We did a classic genius interview. A few years back um, on For the Record. It's one of the rare Pierre Bourne interviews. Um, so check it out if you have. It's super entertaining. Um, definitely got memed. But um, he's a dope guy, man. I have a lot of respect for him. He's talented. Um, so this cold thing, man. Dope verse. There's a lot more bounce to this verse as compared to the verse with Daylight. I, I don't know. The, I don't know. Fact is, the rhymes aren't as like densely layered when he was rhyming with light, like it's a different feel. It's a different type of thing. Um, you know, on, on the collie green songs, that tourniquet line was dope. Um, that Michael Jackson run that he did was crazy. We broke that down. Definitely check out my, my Instagram. I got a short succinct video at Rob Markman on Instagram. If you want to see that, but that tourniquet line was dope. The Michael Jackson run was crazy, but that song called for that, right? Like him and daylight, there's no hook. It is it, just rap olympics you know what i'm saying it's just rap gymnastics um and it called for that this one's still fire cole's still going crazy still like spitting dope lines but it's a lot more digestible you know if i say but it but it's still dope it has a lot more bounce to it a lot of it is the flow and the beat and how it hits bars are still crazy i'm gonna get into a few of my favorite lines in a bit but the cold conversation in 2024 is an interesting one you know, especially, you know, last year we got seven, um, sorry, we got first person shooter with him and Drake. He went crazy on that, which of course, then that sets up the chain of events that leads to this, this battle of 2024, Kendrick and, and, and Drake. Um, so the cold conversation in 2024 is an interesting one. Yes. Seven minute drill did not hit at all. I got a video on that. So also with me, like I'll call it, like I see it. I, I'm not a hater. I try not to be negative. I mean, Cole is one of the greats, but some sometimes when you ain't got it, you ain't got it. And when, when I first heard that seven minute drill, I, I was like, damn, this this ain't really it. Um, so yes, seven minute drill didn't hit. Yes, he backed out of the Drake Kendrick Lamar battle. And I told y'all from the beginning, I wasn't mad at him choosing peace over all that drama, especially as we see how it played out. Cole is looking smarter you know, by the day, put all that aside. And that's a big issue to put aside. I'm not dismissing it, but put that aside. Cause Cole is really going to have to address that. Um, in the song, I expect a, a song when his album comes, I expect the song to kind of address what happened in that battle. Um, I hope, you know, me, I'm, I'm a media guy. I love interviews that like interviews are an art to me. I made a career off of it. I hope that he does an interview. Um, if, if not with me, something substantial, just as a fan that I could see it, I would love it to be with me, but I hope he does an interview where he addressed that. I hope there's a song where he addressed that. So he's going to have to address backing out of that battle. Right. But let's put that aside. Let's let's okay. Let's just table that for a second. Cause we know we're going to get back to that outside of that. He's had a dope year. My, my delete later is one of my favorite projects of the year still. And I love the rollout for that too. Remember he was pointing up the, the videos, the the mini docs and, and stuff like that. That was cool. I thought might delete later again, outside the seven minute drill, one of my favorite projects of the year. Still it's up there for me with the Vince Staples, with the Schoolboy cues, uh, with rap city album, uh, Dolce's album is, is really crept up into that, that crop of top albums of the year for me. Um, you know, I, I'll see how I feel as the year winds down, but might delete later is up there. And then the feature run has been dope. Red Leather was alright to me. Red Leather was cool with Future and Metro on the second album. 
Free Fall with Thames was good. Like, that was a good verse, especially where he was at, what he needed. That kind of felt like when there was questions about Cole, it felt like, okay, this, this is the Che Cole that we know and love. Free Fall was a really, really good verse. Um, Ruby Rosary with um, ASAP, dope. He went crazy on the plate for the Kylie Greens. Like, he went absolutely insane. Cash Cobain, grippy verse, wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't it at all. Again, we could be critical without being mean. I never want to be mean. I never want to be disrespectful. It's just not who I am. But we could say when we don't like something. We could say when something don't hit. We could say when, hey, that wasn't the right move. And it's not out of hate. It, 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 it's really out of love for this game. We all, we're artists, um, those of us in media, I think we all have the same love for it. Or some of us do. Um, so that, that grippy verse wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got a video where I said that. But overall, if you, if you just tally the wins and the losses, the steps and the missteps, Cole has been killing it. The, the highs are super high. Cole, and even more than that, when you listen to Cole rap, despite everything that's going on, dude still sounds like he loves to rap. I could still hear, I'm like, oh, this dude, like he still loves it. He's still challenging himself. He's still trying to find pockets. He's still trying to... This doesn't sound like a guy that's going through the motions. And I know we talk about the fall off and a possible retirement. It's cold at the end of his career, things like that, like that. And and usually when an artist gets to that point, they're just trying to get it over with and, and, and move on, right? Like you could hear when an artist is like over it. Cole still sounds like he's having fun. Cole still sounds like he's trying to elevate. Cole still sounds like he's trying to tap into new thing so i say all that saying i made a video about this too check it out i got catalog now on this channel i'm really looking forward to the fall off the fall off is probably the album that i'm most anticipating um coming up hopefully we get it this year i i don't know i don't think so but i'm anticipating the fall off when cole drops that we all gonna press play like it, you, you could love him you hate him i don't care what your opinion is on what he did with the battle when that fall off drops you're gonna listen um so blow for blow, right? I'm not going ball for ball with this. I'm just picking out some of my favorite. But he starts off blow for blow, cold flow, just prestigious, sweats and tees, no unnecessary accessories, the goat just from features. First of all, I, I've always said this about Cole. I admire sweats and tees, no unnecessary accessories. Cole looks like a regular dude. I joke, and, and, and this is me being facetious, but I'm like, Cole can sell out arenas, can sell out the garden looking homeless like he'll he'll look like he just rolled out of bed and onto the stage now granted like he it, it might be sweats but it, it is thousand dollar sweats right like dude it, it definitely dresses and definitely gets money we know that but his aesthetic is like i'm not trying to impress you like i'm not trying to play into this rapper role like i'm, I'm comfortable with who i am i'm comfortable in my skin i'm comfortable around my fans and my people and this is who i am i'm not trying to dress it up now obviously that's a choice and and, and that's an aesthetic again I, I was there i covered the red carpet at bet when um him and drama and it was somebody else maybe it was brandon t jackson i forget but him and drama showed up in the same versace sweater right and and then and cole talked about this like yo that that's the thing you know, kind of feeling like, and you know, him being pushed into the direction of doing the things that all rappers have to do because that's what you are to be successful. All rappers do it, and in the midst of of, of that, and, and probably a couple of other instances that Cole could speak to, he realized, oh, I could just be myself. My talent is enough. I don't have to conform to to the rapper uniform or what the rapper looks like or what every rapper does. So. It's simple line, but sweats and tees, no unnecessary accessories. I've always admired Cole for being able to tap into that. I, I think that's dope where well, you could be successful just being who you are. Um, and then the GOAT just from Features. Is he? Just from Features, is he the GOAT? Um, that's, a, that, that, that's a tough one. I think, I, think, I think for this generation, Cole is absolutely one of the GOATs. Um, what happened in that battle, him... Him bowing out, you know, motherfuck the big three is just big me. All right. Cole is still up there. Cole is still up there to me. Just from features. I don't know if it's just from features. I, I think you I think we take everything into account and that gets Cole up there. But I'm not mad at this. He talking his shit, man. Um 
And then he says, proceed with throat cut procedures. He looked rich, but he broke just egregious. Don't trust rappers, hold trust in Jesus. Just going back to that thing, he flips it now. He's telling you, yo, sweats and tees, no unnecessary accessories. And then he flips it and, and is looking at other rappers. He looked rich, that other rapper looked rich, but he broke just egregious. Like, so it just goes back into that thing of, and I don't know if it's necessarily to make fun of other rappers for being broke, but you know, when you're in the spotlight, when you're in the limelight, when you're, when, when you're on camera, especially when you're a rapper, there, there, there's a certain look that you're supposed to have a certain thing that the rest of us were supposed to aspire to. But what if your life isn't really like that? Then you gotta, you gotta go on and do this, the, the, this song and dance. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put on this costume for the people um, he looked rich, but he broke just egregious. Like that sounds terrible to me. Like that sounds like a, a terrible existence. Like, you know, like, and, and me here, I, I'll share a story. I used to do live streams and, um, with Amazon and, and, you know, so we're working with different co-hosts. I, I, I won't say who I don't want. And it's one of my great friends. I don't want to put him out there, but man, we were doing the live stream once and, and, my man had the rolly on, just bust the fuck down. This shit looks so crazy the way this shit was dancing on camera. And I'm like, damn, man, like, I ain't got, I ain't got the rolly yet. You know what I mean? Um, and, and my co-host had it. And he looked good. I was happy for him. But I'm like, damn, I need one. Just to keep up, I need one. And, and I got kind of caught up in that um, mentally. But, and I'm not saying my man is broke. My man is not broke. But I don't know what he did to get that. I don't know what he sacrificed to get that. I don't know how hard he worked to get that. So I'm not pocket watching. What I do know is is I don't have one. But thankfully, um, my bills is paid on time. Like like I own my crib. Like you know, I I, I don't got the the most expensive whips. But you know, there's gas in the car. Like I can send my kids to school. There's clothes on our back. There's there, there's food. I don't want for nothing. Just about everything I want, I desire. Everybody who knows me knows I buy comic books and I indulge in that. Um, I could get what I want when I want it. Like you know, even down to this chain, it's not the Roly, but this my right to dream chain. I felt like I wanted it. I was able to get that, and 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 not hurting. So. I say all that to say, like, the looks on everything. You know what I'm saying? He rich, but he broke just egregious. We never know what it is on, on the inside. And, and it's about being comfortable with yourself. And I think Cole mastered that. I'm saying all that to say, I think Cole mastered being able to step outside that house in front of that camera and be who he is. So that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that line is not the illest line, but that says so much to me. It resonates to me. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. But let me move on. Um, he says, he goes on and he says, stay the fuck out my lane. Avoid the pain. I'm really him. Bruce Jenner, them boys just ain't. Stay the fuck out my lane. Avoid the pain. I'm really him. Bruce Jenner, them boys just ain't. Cool. I don't know. I, I'll say this. I, and I thought I thought that line was cool. Obviously, Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner. I'm really him. Clever wordplay for sure. I haven't quite heard that one before, but I think after the last Eminem album, I think I've heard all the the Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner rhymes and rap that I want to hear. We got a lot. It, it, Eminem gave us 99.9% .9 of the Bruce Jenner lines this year in rap, but he gave us a ton. So when Cole came with this, I'm like, Marshall, is that you? But um, So that was funny to me, but... Um, this is a dope line, just the, the, the playing words. I'm really him. Bruce Jenner, them boys just ain't. I know I know. some people may be overly sensitive about this, but this is rap. I thought that was clever. And then um, this is my favorite. I'm boisterous, loud booze for crews from mad voices. It's like your team's making the choice to tank. L after L, I got to laugh. Y'all look like James Todd Smith autograph. I thought that was clever, especially because we see LL outside more. So LL Cool J, Todd Smith. James Todd Smith is LL Cool J. So your team made the choice to tank. They're taking L after L. I got to laugh. Y'all look like James Todd Smith autograph. So L, L, two L's back to back. Clever. Super dope. Um, so he had fun with this. And then, of course, the hook is influenced from Mace Verse on Biggie's More Money, More Problems. If you are younger than I am, you might recognize it from Drake, Worst Behavior, but this, this is Mace actually originated this on Biggie's More Money, More Problems. You know, the now who, how, who not. So 
Cole used that and interpolated that and put that in the hook. And T Grizzly did his thing too, man. T Grizzly is rapping, man. I like this song. I think this song is fun. I think they rapping. Um, I thought um, T Grizz was clever when he said, I'm a king. You won't see me drop no tears. Back to back, white coops, bitch. It's looking like veneers. Clever. Again, I like rhymes that you could see. That was dope. And then um, when he said, Who ain't rocking with me? Tell them to play with their life, fumble their college degree. Tell them to face all that time and still be solid as me. Do years in prison and drop a hit the day I release. Um, just going back to T Grizzly's origins, man. The first day out which blew him up. I, I I just thought it was dope how he put his life in there and, and still kept with the wordplay. And then, and then he got, it felt like it got a little personal after that when he starts getting into all the people who tried to help, but they hated on him. T Grizzly did this thing on here. Overall, I think this is a fun song. Got some bounce to it. Um, Definitely catchy. You know, anytime you kind of take some mace energy and put it on the hook, like it's a little vibe to it. I thought the Pierre Bourne beat w- was dope. And, and, you know, there's just enough rhymes on here to, like, keep it light and breezy, but still, like, nah, they rapping for real, though. So, I fuck with it. That's just me. Let me know what y'all think, man. Um, is J. Cole the GOAT just from features? I'm saying, I, I, I think I think when you factor everything into it, J. Cole is one of the GOATs, especially of this generation. I don't know if it's just from the features, but it sound good on the record. He talking his shit. Um, I like this, but but what do y'all think about Cole, man? Y'all looking forward to the fall off? Um do you forgive Cole? I know a lot of people were upset at him. Are you starting to forgive J. Cole? <laughs> like, are you starting to forgive J. Cole for backing out of that battle? I'm over it. I've I've been, I'm cool with it, man. And if he just keep on dropping verses like this, I'm good. And, and we'll hear him address it on his own time. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, do all of that. All right? To the next one. Peace.